Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. So it's just before lunch on Monday and I've had a fairly kind of busy-ish day today. Um, I've been doing um, my accounts, getting uh, website orders ready, printing out dispatch notes and getting the, the orders ready. Um, the stock for um, some of the stencils for January has arrived. Yay! So I'm really excited about that. And I've also been sat and started to write out my Christmas cards for the... Or write out our Christmas cards Hello. for the... Hello! Hello, sorry. Are you... Are you, are you busy? I just wanted to show you what I've made. Really? Yes. What, what have you... Come on then, show me what you've made. Oh, oh that's pretty. Is it like a copper butterfly? Yeah, it is with a light behind it, so it the, the all changes colour, sorry. That's pretty. Hang from your belt, or put it on the wall. How have you got the, the light to shine in, in the butterfly? Because I can't see any wires or anything. Oh, well. Trade secret. Well, it's not, if you want me to show you. I, I think that'd be rather nice, actually. I'll show you what it's made from. So, shall we... It was your stuff. Gary, are you going to do it? I'll bring it in and we'll go upstairs. Fantastic. Oh, that's an offer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not desperate. <laughs> so Ian's just run back into the garage and bought, brought through all of the bits and pieces that he used to make the little flashy butterfly. So I've just told him to sit and do a proper little show and tell. I'm sat, I'm going to do a proper little show and tell. He's going to do it proper overhead style. Ooh. So come on then, clever clogs. Okay, so that's the pro that's the project. Uh huh. So I always do this. I'm not good at this. You see, it I love the shine. Turn the lights out a little bit first, if you can. Uh, and you'll okay. get the. Get you the ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry, I, I always do this. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Just tilt it slightly. That's it. See the butterfly wings. Yeah. Looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> you can tell what sort of weather we're having today. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Because it's it's foggy as I don't know what, and it's dark. It's almost like dust. So that's the project. Okay. So put that there for a moment. All right. So, so show us the bits then. Okay. So we'll just empty all the bits out. There's not that many actually. No. Okay. Put him there so you can see. Okay. So. The base of it is actually a small tin. So this is one of those tins that you can pick up in most little craft, craft shops, stores. Yeah. yeah. With uh, the acetate yeah. window. All I do is cut the acetate window out. Mm -hmm. Which you're not going to do. You're not gonna no, do I'm not going to make it up. I'm just going to show you what all the bits are. So yeah. that's that one. Uh -huh. Then we've got, we have a little MDF circle okay. that goes on top. Right, and that MDF circle is what, about two and a half inches? Something like that, yeah. Or there are boots. Yeah. That's slightly larger than the one I've got on there, but it doesn't matter. And of all things, the little ring round there. Hang on, hang on. It's too big, is that one? It wants to be smaller than yeah, that. So it's just slightly smaller yeah. than two and a half inches. So then we've got a chrome ring, which is actually. <clears throat> oh, it's a curtain ring. It's a curtain ring. All you do is get pliers, twist it, pull it off, and I just grind the, the sharp bits off. Yeah, so that's what would sit on a curtain pole, and that's where yeah. you put your, your, your loop cur through. Your curtains, curtains. Hang, yeah. hang there. Yeah. So that goes there. So that will be painted copper. Mm hmm. Little sir, MDF circle, that's also painted copper. Yeah. The butterfly. And you see, the butterfly with the spring, which is really cute. But they look stupid, there's no top on it. So what I've done is I've got some brads. We, we bought some of these brads ages oh, ago. Oh, look, they're nice brads, yeah. And just put a bit, use a bit of glue in there to give it that, put the head on it. Cool. So where's the butterfly from? The butterfly is actually from a set of fairy lights. Oh, see, so like guard lights. Yeah. So but the, when it comes, the lights it comes with are awful. As me old nan used to say, they're piss poor. <laughs> so they're not very bright. Not very bright at all. But they're, they're for like hanging outside under a yeah. parasol or something. But what I do then is I get use my LEDs, the bright ones. A stronger LEDs. Stronger LEDs. And then part that with a screwdriver and that then sits ah. into the spring. So when you put it into the oh, can't get it in the spring. When you put it in the spring, the only thing that sticks out are the wires. Yeah. Like that. You then drill a small hole in it, pull it through, put some glue in it, and as you pull it through, it pulls the whole thing down. Right. 
there we are. Like that. Excellent. And then, mm -hmm. the little switch on the back. Yep. We have to bolt it on. You have to bolt the switch on, because if you don't, it falls off. Well, yeah. So they're bolted through. Yeah. And that's where you wire up. That's where the battery goes into. Right. Because the battery is just the right size of the tin. And that fits inside. Yeah, and then Dad, bless him, that is then glued in. That's called a cotter pin, apparently. Yes. Glue, goes through there, some glue on it, and then Dad makes me these little clips to hang. Leather clips? Yeah. Yeah. These ones are, are the swivel ones. The ones on, the, on this one I've made isn't. It's sewn on. Right. So stop, it, pair, stop it from twisting. Stop it from twisting when you wear it. Because yeah. you wear it on your belt, you see. Yeah. Or ladies wear it on the belt. Yes. Well, anybody can wear it on the belt. Yeah. Um, also, the best thing ever. A copper slug tape. Slug tape. Slug tape just, is just the right size to go around the edge of the tin to give it that really steampunk look. Yeah, so this is the tape you'd buy from garden centres to put around the top of pots to stop slugs from climbing over the top yep. and eating your plants. Yep, or, because... or, it's, or it's electrical contact, copper contact tape for yep. electronics, but go to the garden centre. Yeah, just as good. So all that... Makes up? Makes up that. Clever clocks. And you know what's even more clever? What? The for sale on the website. Oh, ah! I, knew, I knew there'd be a, a, a Un, sting in the tail. I'm ashamed plug, but they are so pretty. They are. Um, you see the light inside? You can't see the wires or anything. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Domestics. See, the glamorous life of a YouTuber still has to do his laundry. Make sure there's no socks in there. And as if by magic, all done and sorted. So it's it's big voting day here in the UK. General, ooh, bouncy bouncy, General Election Day. We've just been to vote. So Ian and I have just been and casted our vote. We've put our mark uh, and now we're off to see Nan and Grandad. Bentley's in the back. Yes, Mr. Bentley's in the back. There he is. Oh. Yes. Behind his dog guard, of course. Yes, behind his dog guard. So Mr. Bentley's in the back. He's going to be, uh, Grandad's going to be babysitting today uh, and me and Ian are taking Mum out to a new supermarket that we've not been to before. So or one that she's not been to before anyway. So yeah, we're going to have a bit of a, a bit of a fun day today, I think. Not impressed our kid, are you? Yeah. Going for a walk in a minute. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> A comfy boy. Good boy, aren't you? Yeah. We're heading to the checkout now. Saturday um, and we're having the first Christmas gathering of the year. So Ian has um, been cooking this morning. Morning all. Excuse the outfit, it's not cooking. Yeah, we're, we're not getting changed yet until a bit, well, nearer. a bit nearer the time. It's currently um, 11.25, first guests aren't arriving until 12. Um, Ian's set the table, I'll turn the camera around in a second, but you're busy preparing vegetables at the moment. Parsnips, yeah. Uh, parsnips. The turkey has been in the oven since 8 a.m. this morning. Eight, no, 8.30. 8.30 this morning. Uh, so all the vegetables are ready to go. Pepper on the mic. <coughs> yeah, just a little bit. Uh, so that was the timer just going off, which has caused the video to stop recording. So yeah, um, I forgot what we were saying. Vegetables are all done, so everything's ready. Um, the table is set, so I will turn the camera around so you can see the table. Okay. Look at that. That's Bernard. 
Okay, so that's the turkey and then the table. <laughs> so, because we're putting vegetables and stuff on the table, we didn't want to over decorate the table, but we've got little like honeycomb, Santas and Father, or Santas and snowmen, their little Christmas gifts. Looks nice, and of course we've got the musical Christmas tree. It's competing with Andy Williams at the moment, so. <laughs> but there, there you go. So that, <laughs> I'd best go and help. Okay, so, emergency dealt with? Yeah. <laughs> so everything's now in hand then, really, isn't it? Yes. So veggies, stuff in the oven, table set, music on, Christmas tree on. I think we're ready to go. Ready to rumble. It's Sunday afternoon. It's about five to four in the afternoon. Um, our guests yesterday arrived at 12 um, and left, left about half past 10. <laughs> it was a long day of eating, laughing, consuming a little bit of alcoholic beverage in the form of um, wine and Prosecco and such. Um, and a thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable day, all in all. Um, consequently, by the time um, we got to bed last night, it was gone mid midnight after we'd loaded up the dishwasher and tidied up and sorted the table out and that kind of thing. Um, so we had a, a bit of a lazy morning this morning. Um, didn't really do much. I've come out um, just to grab a few bits and pieces. Um, I forgot to buy a couple of um, Christmas cards um, and also just to get a few stock up things. Um, not a lot. So, so yes, but it's getting dark already. So it's not even four o'clock and it's almost dark. Lights are on. Street lights are just starting to come on. And this morning, when we actually did get out of bed, um, which was only about half past nine-ish, ten-ish. <laughs> um, from one of the bedroom windows, you can see right across the top of the city and then out across um, to the Pennines, over towards Manchester. And they were all white out this morning. So there were, obviously there'd been some snowfall overnight on the high peaks, um, out, like I said, out towards Manchester and Glossop and that kind of area, so until it had been cold overnight. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. Thank you.